Hi there, folks. It's Michelle. I'm coming to you today from the yoga and Pilates studio that I visit a few times every week. Started doing yoga Pilates about three years ago, and I'm here today to introduce module three because there's a connection between being a warm demander and what I experience in my yoga Pilates studio. Today in our digital mobile society, we have access to lots of content and I can easily pay um, to come here or you know, I could get access to free content on the computer. And I know from experience that if I choose the computer and get my you know, instruction through my phone or through my computer or my TV or whatever, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna stick with it. I'm not gonna grow. I'm not gonna get stronger. But what I've learned from coming to these classes, and it's why I pay every month, is that my instructor really makes a difference to me. And it's because of the connection that I feel with her. Today's class is being taught by Andrea, and I know Andrea's story, and um, she is an inspiration to me. And, uh, you know, she makes me work harder. And when I come to my classes, I know that she's here. When I don't come, I know that she's wondering where I am. And she makes me work harder. She has me hold poses, you know, longer than I think I can. And that is what being a warm demander is all about. It's about care and it's about push and it's about making a person work harder than they think they can. And because of that, I'm stronger physically and I'm stronger mentally. Um, and so I wanted to share that story with you because sometimes when people um, start thinking about this warm demander pedagogy, it may feel like we're being soft on our students and that's not what this is about. It's about giving our students the extra push, those who need the extra push, through being warm and being kind and telling them that they can do it. And those are really important things, especially when students are learning online. So what we wanna keep in mind is that it really is about building our students' intellectual capacity. This may make us rethink the concept of rigor a little bit in this module. Um, I do hope that this example has been helpful and I hope that you can um, maybe think about a warm demander or two that you've had in your own life as you proceed through this module. So with that, namaste.